Hey friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Oh, welcome back to my channel. You know I'm always thrilled to have you. So I actually just got back a few days ago from my hometown of Charleston, South Carolina, which I love so much. I feel so lucky to have such a cool spot to call as my hometown. And I went to this amazing uh, Spoleto Arts and Music Festival, which is really cool. It's like an international multi-day, mostly like performance arts and music and stuff like that, but it was awesome. And I missed you guys so much. I missed my studio and I wanted to share all of the fun artsy adventures with you guys. So I hope you enjoy it and make sure you pop that subscribe button to come back again and again for all the artsy adventures. Yay! Thanks for being here, guys. It better than a visit to the good old hometown. I loved growing up in Charleston and I love visiting so much history and culture and arts and what a better way to come back and visit it than by starting off at the good old Dock Street Theater for some chamber music. It was so exciting to come to Spoleto all week and see this incredible beautiful symphonic music in these close quarters really feeling every note. And a trip back home is never complete without a visit to my very favorite gallery, the Robert Lange Studios. I have known these guys ever since they first opened up in Charleston. I used to work right next to them, and it has been so incredible watching them grow. They house some of the most incredible contemporary realistic painters, as well as a few painters who actually have studios in-house, one of them being Nathan Durfee, who does these incredible whimsical animals, and he was actually about to host an opening that weekend. So what do you know? I got to see a lot of Durf while I was there. One of my favorite events was called Circa, which was three mind-blowing circus performers who were creating incredible shapes and feats of human strength with their bodies to a very interesting rhythmic and heavy soundtrack. Next, we got the special treat of going to stay on James Island with one of our closest friends of the family. We've known her for years. Cherna is super awesome and she has a very amazing and magical garden growing all over the outside of our house. I wish I could have shown you everything, but a lot of it is actually under construction. However, I luxuriated in one of the best outdoor showers I have ever experienced in my life. And let me tell you, I am slightly becoming an outdoor shower connoisseur these days. And as if her house is not magical enough, bonus, I got to visit one of my old paintings from graduate school. Hooray! This was probably my favorite musical performance of the entire week. I did not know the music of Django Reinhardt before seeing these performers play gypsy jazz for two hours, but let me tell you, I am now hooked. It was unbelievable. They were all so talented and the music was so catchy. I really love instrumental music. And if you can tell, that musician on the far right stage front seated is actually playing an instrument he made up himself. 
and it is some kind of washboard that he's attached a few metal tins to and now is playing with 10 sets of what looked to be almost like metal thimbles on his fingers. It was unbelievably good and I didn't want to take up too much time during the middle of the video so stick around to the end. I have about a two minute solo of him and he is killing it. And of course, one of the cool things about being in such a great city is just that, being in the great city. So I had a wonderful time walking around, living it up, and seeing friends, of course. And what a treat for one of my closest friends and I, Stephanie. We went down to Waterfront Park with our hula hoops and serendipitously stumbled upon this incredible violinist playing. So we simply joined him right at the park and decided to have a ball. I'm not sure what the people thought walking by, but we had a great time. And you know, we had to do at least a little bit of the nightlife too. Can't help it. My best friend Lainey and I just know how to have the best time in the world. We also decided to take a little trip down to the wonderfully open and spacious City Gallery. I was nicely surprised to find an exhibit of local artworks here. They have often regional or sometimes even international artists, and so it was wonderful to see so many incredible works from my hometown. Charleston is truly becoming an art mecca. You really can't beat this space. I love that it looks right out over Waterfront Park. And then for our last performance of the week, we went to the newly rebuilt Gelliard Auditorium. This space is incredible. I love the classic architecture they used, but really brought it into the modern times. One Thousand and One Nights was an explosion of dancing and costume changes and um, fantastic scenery. It's a show that I hear is traveling all over the world and from its dynamic nature you can see why it's become so catchy. And now as I bid Charleston adieu until next time, here's another few minutes of that amazing musician. Enjoy! See you guys soon!
for being here, guys. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.